Hello, you guys. Good morning. I guess today I'm vlogging. I just woke up. It's 9 a.m. It's breakfast time. I know, you guys. Come on. Right now, there's so many animals in the south. My cookie. ever when all the animals are hungry, but you have to refill the actual food first. Relax, doggies. Hi, my baby, hi. So, Uno gets joint medication because the vet said he needs it. My little baby needs it. Oh, no. So that you can see my baby too. I'm trying. Okay, one scoop for you. And a half of honeys. It's hard to get all the animal food and a vlog camera. Okay. I'm trying, my children. I'm trying. Okay. So, honey is very picky and she likes like look at what I'm dealing with uh, and he's waiting for me both the cats are waiting for me but the thing is uh, honey doesn't really love the dry food so I have to put a little bit of the cat food in there not like just some of the juice of the cat food okay, trying to get in here Say hi. <laughs> okay I guess Hey. This is cookie. Yeah. Okay. 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 Relax, baby. Relax. Okay. Honestly, it's a super stressful part of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like a kitchen cleanup. This is welcome to the day in my life because now I walk down pretty much every morning to whatever we ate last night, which was Mendocino Farms. And so happy cleaning everyone. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden giving you like a day in my life, but I guess that's what we're doing today. Um, after I feed the dogs, I typically try to chug a whole bottle of water myself. I also like, I've been breaking out from wearing masks, you know, right there and right there, which is just not it. I haven't had a problem with my skin for quite a while. And now I'm just out here breaking out like a mother. <laughs> All right, dogs, let's go potty. Let me turn off the lights. Okay, beautiful day, work. And now is the time where I get coffee, which I've been having like a real love-hate relationship with coffee because half the time I'll do regular coffee and then half the time I'll do an espresso coffee. And I've been getting headaches and I think it's because I've been having very <laughs> various amounts of caffeine and it's just not working out for me because like four nights a week I've been having a headache and I think it's caffeine withdrawals because my body's so crazy and it needs the exact same specific amount of caffeine to not give me a headache, which just further shows me that coffee is such a drug but here we are gonna do it anyways you know so it's the time of the day where you just you got to pick a mug right now we're obviously gonna pick our sip mug because how cute look at that the sip and then right now I've been um, liking the Starbucks caramel flavor so let's just hit up this Keurig Parte, and we hit the large. I have problem with all the vlog girls that hit medium because I don't know why you would want a medium cup of coffee in the morning if you're trying to wake up. It just doesn't make sense to me. Oh my God. 
I've taken up hobbies because I need things to not be on the computer. You know, like when you're working all the time, I'm like, I just need some time not on a screen because if I'm not working, I'm like on my phone scrolling. So I decided I was gonna take up painting. These ones are super old that Shane and I did forever ago, but I, oh, I wonder if the art got thrown away. I printed out my inspiration picture because I don't want you to think I'm like the worst painter in the world. And now the Keurig's being loud. Hold on, please. Oh my gosh, we've been scammed. I was like, this typically fills to the top. We're out of water. Thanks for warning me and saying low water. Now I got scammed. What do we do? I think, oh gosh, this is not good. This is what I mean about my coffee intake levels. If I start my first cup of coffee at like three fourths steam, this is not gonna be a good day. Anyways, I was trying, oh gosh, I was trying to find the inspiration photo, but I think it got thrown in the trash. All right, are you ready to see my map? The masterpiece is a stretch, but I'm like decently proud of it. I created. Okay, we'll pan up first. I'll show you the inspiration look. Nice, beautiful, and then you pan up. <laughs> and that's. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, well, anyways, it's Shane and I on our Animal Crossing island. Shane's this one in the Gucci print. I'm this one right here. You know, if from far away it's decent. Like if you're just strolling by, it's fine. It's like, oh, okay, cute. Honestly, I've given up on this family room being like a cute family. Not that it's not cute, but it's like eclectic. Like it has all of the crazy knickknacks and stuff, but I think it makes this room homey, right? Like we have our Britney Spears records. This is like the room where like anything and everything goes. It gets to feel homey and cute and whatever. So on the way out of this room is where we have our own paintings, which is crazy. This one's still hanging from a Bob Ross video we did on Morgan's channel. I don't know, I don't feel great about having our own bad art in the house, but I also feel like it makes it homey. And then like there's other other spaces throughout this house that are like more design oriented than comfort oriented. Ah, so comfortable. You know what I mean. Okay, don't trip on the floor, please. Thank you. Okay. I've also still been meditating every single day. And so I come out and walk out to my shed, get to appreciate nature for a second while I'm on my way out and just remind myself like what I need to focus on. And especially a lot of the time it's like, I need to meditate so like I'm the best person I can be even to the people around me that have to like interact with me. So I'm not a moody bitch, you know what I mean? Jesus, it's kind of windy now. Not much makes me happier than this room for some reason. Like I just sit down on my blue velvety couch and look over and the design in here, it just truly sparks joy for me. I am so, oh God. Okay world, closing me in to meditate. Let's do it. Meditate, baby. I think it could be a little bit higher. Let me light my candle. Candle, baby. Let's see what's on the meditation today. Getting creative is the suggested. Although creativity is spontaneous in nature. So I've been just like trying to reframe my mind in the way that I think. When I start to go during the day to be like, what's the positive in this? Every time you're, you're annoyed throughout the day, it's easy to just take another notch down and instead, I've been trying to reframe things as positives, which is not easy, especially with the year everyone's had. Everyone faces their own different struggles. I wonder if this is like in the way or distracting. Relax, candle. Okay, so now is the part of my day where I, while I'm drinking my coffee and eating my breakfast, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> catch up on everything that I hadn't done from the day before. I'll either like answer emails or start editing whatever I'm working on or try to brainstorm whatever I'm gonna do next with my life, which is a little bit like, also why am I vlogging? I don't know, because there's nothing else to do and it genuinely seemed fun to me. There's a lot of things, like there's little things, like this office for instance, like I want to look at, I'm vlogging and it's just this plain boring background. So I've been on this, 
freaking hunt to kind of make over the space because if I show you, when you walk in, I do think it's cute, but I have my YouTube plaques, a cute mirror, a cute coat rack, and some photos and stuff, but then when you're facing back this way, it's so blank. So for this, I'm doing a wallpapered accent wall, and over here, I got some shelves that are gonna be really cute, and I'll probably get a piece of art for the middle. That way, when I am vlogging in my office, it will be cute instead of just some like weird white walls where it's like, what's this brother doing? And I really think I decided that I wanted the banana palm leaf paper that uh, Nikki Hilton and Paris Hilton have. So I was like, well, it's only an accent wall. I know it's probably bougie, but when I found it for this one wall, it would take five rolls. <laughs> and it was $2,000. So I like aggressively started searching on the internet for not, well, yeah, I guess knockoffs. And I found this girl on Etsy with pill and stick instead of like the ugh, old school nightmare type of wallpaper that the designer one is was $500 compared to $2,000 for this wallpaper. So uh, I'm praying that it comes and turns out well, but I also think like I'll do a little mini office makeover. I need a new rug for this space, especially so that I can start kind of vlogging in here because nobody wants this background. And we're all in the business of making spaces that make you happy. Like I love walking into my bedroom because it makes me immediately feel happy. Same with my shed, same with the beauty room. Like I love when design makes you your mood brighten. So I want every room of our house to make me feel excited to be there. Okay, so I brushed my teeth and I washed my face and I was like, okay, I'm about to take the dogs on a walk, but let me just promote the podcast a little bit. and. I gotta remember what I've been preaching <laughs> even earlier in this video is that I need to reframe my mindset where like a turn what could be a negative into a positive because I started scrolling for two seconds and it just was enough to make me feel crazy and oh, there's a lot of love and a lot of support but it is just this thing where like oh, it like mm. It's just a bigger test. Like every time that I start feeling really good, something will like bring me a peg down. And it's just, I think a reminder to me, I need to validate from within how I feel about myself needs to come from in here. When the world seems to be coming, and I mean my world, like when all of my platforms seem to be hatred towards me. It is, an, it is hard to get inspired to create. And then if I start looking at any of that, it's like, why would I wanna create? Why would I wanna make anything to be met with? Like, he doesn't look inspired or want, like he wants to do this. Well, yeah, I'm trying to push through because I don't wanna just like melt into my couch into nothing. But I just need to remember like, take a deep breath. How anything's received is, like I, I don't have control over. What I have control over is how I feel and what I do and my intention. So with that, I guess <laughs> I'm gonna walk these dogs. They're wait they're like patiently waiting. Like, let's go on a walk, please. Nature will be good for us. A horsey. Okay, I've calmed down. I got my salad that I actually got last night when I got dinner, because if you're smart, when you order dinner, you get something for lunch the next day too, because there's nothing in my house to, to be made, but I'm just sitting in the courtyard, you know, having a nice little lunch. My doggies, sunbathing. I guess I'll FaceTime my mom, you know. I oh, I never realized that I do the dance wiggle when I eat, but Shane every time he's like, every time you eat, you do a dance wiggle, and I don't realize because I don't see myself, but I just saw it in the viewfinder. I caught myself doing my eat dance. Mm. Okay, so today's finally the day. The wallpaper's been here for like a week. I just haven't uh, gotten the courage to get up here and do it. Okay, so I first need to clean the existing wall before I put the wallpaper on top of it. And 
Ugh, I guess I need to do the sideboards too. But I probably need to rearrange the room really fast. Oh God, hairs in my coffee. Okay. Um, I'll put this over here. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to move this as well. Oh my gosh, I haven't even looked at the wallpaper yet. Ah! I'm hoping it looks similar to what I was expecting. I mean, okay. I think it's cute, I hope. Oh my god. So I actually, I brought it out here. And it actually does look super cute. It's pretty much exactly what I was looking for, but now I just have to have faith in myself that I'll be able to put these up. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I shouldn't be stepping on them. I did do the beauty room successfully by myself and it looks pretty good, I will say. I have not moved this couch literally since we got it. So there's gonna be so much dust. Honestly, not bad. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Ladies and gentlemen, first one down, four or five more to go. Probably five more to go, oh my gosh. It is cute though. All right. Okay, I'm on my very last strip, but this is going to be a nightmare because it's a little bigger than what I actually need. So I'm gonna have to cut along the corner as I go while also trying to like keep the straight line, which is so stressful. I am finally almost done, like two and a half hours later. It was hard to line up, but let me see. I guess I can Does it look cute? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be everything. Like when I'm vlogging, see now when I'm sitting at my desk, it's like, oh, I have a background and then I'll have my two shelves up there and oh, cute. Wow, it's exactly what I wanted. It's gorgeous. Okay, so it's a couple days later and I'm not completely done, but I wanted to show you a little update on where we're at. I got the shelves installed, which are so cute. Still need to get a new rug, a new side table, and a nice big accent mirror, but I think it's coming along so beautifully. All right, ladies, thank you for watching my first vlog. I hope it was fun and I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it will mean everything to me. Oh, look at it. the new background looks so cute. Uh, I've been working on renovating the rest of the room, which will be in an upcoming vlog. So yeah, I wanted to say goodbye and I hope you enjoyed.